So Jody and I decided to come over to um, beautiful Sanua today. We just caught a cab over from Leggy and Costa Slope. Was it 10 bucks? Yeah, just under. Yeah, so we give them a tip. But it's, um, we've never, fourth trip to Bali and we've never come over. The only time we've ever come over here is to get on a boat and go to um, New Salon Bogu. But um, yeah, we just decided that we wanted to come over and walk along the beach and it's absolutely beautiful. A little bit different to where we stay. Not so many beach bars and things like that. It's more, you know, resorts and sort of fancier restaurants and nicer rooms and things like that. But it's still, it's a beautiful morning. Mm. We're very lucky. I don't even think there's a crowd in the sky. Oh, there's crowds over there. But yeah, we'll do a little bit of filming over here and check it out. This looks like where we hired the jet skis that time, but. Yeah, that was over in Mr. Dua, wasn't it? Yeah. We'll um, get a bit of footage of walking along here and doing a lot of construction along here, so every sort of couple of hundred metres of scaffolding and all that sort of stuff, but it's still really nice. I'll get some, I'll get some footage. Just one of the resorts along here. I don't know what these things are. They look pretty cool. Yeah. They're just little benches. Yeah. People just sit out. And like you say, they've got a lot of them down there. These guys are out here fishing. Got their long poles. No idea what they're fishing for. They're everywhere. Must be the time for it. Like I said, they're doing a lot of construction. There's a lot of these guys putting down new footpaths and stuff like that, but that's all good. A lot of this sort of stuff along here that we've noticed so far. Pretty fancy resort style. Just very close to the beach. It's um, more construction. It's absolutely beautiful, eh? It's a beautiful morning. Yeah, high-end stuff. So the thing is that a lot of people ask me what it's like over here, and it's whatever you want it to be. Like, this isn't probably something that Jode and I would come and stay in. main reason being is that we're not the sort of people that want to lay around the pool all day or sit by the by the water all day but we're fairly active we like to get out and about but if that's your thing there's plenty of this here you wouldn't have to leave this place just come in and soak up the beautiful sun some more guys fishing over there more there We're heading up towards where we think that we catch the boats from over to Noosa Lombogan, which we think is this way. But um, once we get up there, we'll probably turn around and head back. There seem to be a lot more restaurants and rooms and stuff down the other end where we actually came into the beach. So look at these guys up on the roof here cleaning the roof off. It's so tropical. It's stinking hot. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's stinking hot. So, yeah. Big markers out there for the boats to head out. No, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we weren't exactly where I thought we were going to end up, but still beautiful. We're gonna head, we've turned around and we're heading back in the direction that we came in. More beautiful gardens. There's Jane. There's beautiful, I don't know, you call them long boats if you want. That's what we call them in Thailand. Got the outriggers on them. Glorious. Gardens are just amazing, these tropical gardens, aren't they? Yeah. And there's big, I don't know, I don't know what, it's not, um, <clears throat> it's sort of a more 
a fancy barley, I guess you'd call it, upmarket. Pretty fancy places along here, and you know, you'd be paying probably more than Western prices for a lot of this stuff along here at these cafes and restaurants down this end, anyway, that I can see. Which, if you want to do that, that's fine. So, I say there's a there's a barley for everybody. You want the fine dining and and the you know, all the fancy stuff, they've got more than enough of it here. Beautiful. So, we've made our way up the other end now. We were going the wrong way, weren't we? <laughs> Bit more chaotic down here. Yeah, there's the big lobster. Everyone films that, I think, that comes over to Sanua. Belongs to this place here. But yeah, we've, um, the little turtle thing is just down there where they have the, all the turtles in the big tubs and all that stuff. But here's the lobster. She's still pretty, um, well, don't get me wrong, you get the fancy, real fancy places like this over in Seminyak and Legion too, but she's um, probably a bit more upmarket over here, that's for sure from what we can see. Oh. And that's probably gonna sum up our little Walk along the Sanua Beach Walk. Look at that boat down there up on the beach. It's grounded. Yeah. I don't know what's happened there. The tide must have just run out on it. We just got a whole heap of like local rooms. Not many of these left along here. It's a little patch of them here. But um, people down here are pretty nice. They don't hassle you too much. The boats look amazing. It is friggin' hot. It's like boiling hot. They're all preparing food and everything. I won't feel them too much. Water again. Yeah. <laughs> that cool refreshing drink. So yeah, that might sum up this one. If we see anything else interesting, we'll pull the camera out. We just came down this little laneway. Little puppies. Jade was saying that this is probably a bit more what it was like back when she um, came here back in the 80s, more your local. 35 years ago. Yeah, that was 35 years ago. It's more of your, your local people living around here, their little shops, stuff like this where they get their petrol. It's pretty cool. I won't film too much in here. So we just stopped at this little place here to have a bit of lunch in Sanua. I've got to get the video in quick before they start playing the music up too loud. They're playing all copywritten music here, but absolutely beautiful. Like, check out these trees growing up here in the middle of the restaurant. The bar over there. There's a kitchen back here behind me. Over there. But yeah, we just ordered a, an entree of spring rolls and some mee uh, mee goreng. More gear on. Goreng. And, um, yeah chilling and then we'll probably have some lunch and then catch a cab back it cost us about 10 bucks to get over here from um i think i said that before but it was about 10 dollars to get over here from legion so having a, a lovely day <clears throat> it's awesome we've got a bit of music playing in the background here so i don't normally film our food but we had to film this this is a um a me goran absolutely beautiful six dollars $4. Oh well, four fifty. Sorry, I'm wrong as usual. All good. So we're just on our way back to Legian from had that little day trip over to Sanua in a beautiful air-conditioned Bluebird taxi. Cost us about ten bucks to get over there. Obviously, it's going to cost us about ten bucks to get back. But yeah, it was a nice little day out. Yeah. It's um beautiful beach and everything over there. Probably um, not for Jade and I to go and stay there, but definitely worth a day trip. The meal we had was beautiful. What was the name of that place? El Camino. El Camino. It means Bali Yeah, I should have filmed the name of it and stuff out in the front, but it's pretty warm outside, so we um, sort of had lunch and sort of walked down the street a little bit. And it was lovely and probably a bit more spread out than Ligian and, and stuff, but yeah, still, still beautiful and lovely, so. That'll probably do us. Let's put this video together and post it.
posted up, catches on 